In this video, I am doing a review on the Daigle Jump Rope. So let's jump right into the review. Hi there, my name is Derek and welcome to GamerBody. For this video, we are going over a very cheap jump rope called the Daigle Skipping Jump Rope that you can use from the comfort of home in order to do your jump rope training. Now, if you followed me for some time, you know for my cardio sessions, I tend to like to do jump rope as well as biking for my cardio. So I try and find options that I can buy and review here to see if there's something you wanna purchase for your home gym. All right, so to start off, I bought the Daigle jump rope on November 26th of 2019. I bought the jump rope on amazon.com and the total came out to $7.42 after taxes. Now mine is the six foot edition, so you can go up to, again, six foot in length. You can adjust it though, so the handles do come apart and you can actually um, put it inside the handle more to make it larger or smaller depending on what direction you're putting it in. And you can also cut it if you had to in case maybe you need to make it really short, you can cut it. But just note that you can adjust it to your needs um, if you need to do so in order to do the jumps correctly. And that's about it for everything you get. You really just get a jump rope with the handles that come attached. You can again adjust it minus six feet. But overall, that's it. That's why it really only cost you $7 to buy this product. So now let's jump into my pros and cons list for the Daigle jump rope. My first pro is that I've had no real big issues with it whatsoever. Coming in as a really cheap $7 product, I would have expected this to have broken down more. Um, a lot of my old jump ropes that I've tried either like start tearing or start uh, frailing apart as it hits the ground over and over. Now I've done a few thousand jumps with this and I really haven't seen any big wear and tear on it yet. Um, I'm, I am expecting to eventually have it wear down. But I've used it again a lot and for $7 I've got a lot of use out of this so it's pretty amazing that it's lasted this long. Also I do love the ability to adjust the size of the jump rope. Mine at first was a bit too big for me as it felt like I was like had this massive jump rope going around me. Yeah it's not very heavy so that's not really the problem. It's more of just I have way too much jump rope going over me making me a little sloppy and it hit the ground too early so I'd mess up sometimes. So you can adjust it when it makes it nice. It makes it easier for you to do your jump roping properly for your height or if someone else needs to use the jump rope. Also, this jump rope is super light and super easy to travel with. If you need to take a jump rope with you anywhere you need to go, again, this will fit in any bag very easily. It does not weigh a lot. So most jump ropes I know don't weigh too much, but this one especially is very light and easy to use. And my last pro is that I really didn't have any issues with getting hurt with this jump rope. Say you mess up, I didn't have anything really like slap across my hand and make me jump back in pain. I've used some jump ropes in the past that did hurt my hands when I messed up or even my legs. Uh, so I look out for those kind of things, especially with jump ropes, because I don't want to be injured every time I do it. I know it's incentive to do better while jump roping if you're messing up. But anyways, I'm not there to get injured all the time. So I really just wanted to find a good jump rope that I can use that's not going to hurt me and that I feel can last me a decent amount of time for a good price. All right, now let's take a look at my cons list for the Daigle jump rope. My first con is that the handles really have no weight behind them. Now, I really like my handles to feel firm and solid in my hands. But unlike the rope, which I feel is fine, the handles just feel super, super light and not a great hefty material. That doesn't mean it's going to break down very quickly. It's more like I can feel the inside where I've uh, added a little more of the jump rope because it was too long. I can feel that rattling around in my hands and I really just don't like that feeling. So this is where the cheap feeling of the $7 comes into play. While I don't think it really hinders your ability to use the jump rope or I don't think it's going to really dampen the quality too much. It is just one of those little annoyances I get when using it and feeling that it is definitely a cheaper feeling jump rope overall. Another con is that there's no bag with this jump rope. For some reason it just came with the jump rope itself in just like a big plastic bag. It didn't come with any kind of drawstring bag like all the other ones I've ever purchased have. So that was kind of a downer when I got it. I don't, again, I don't really care for any of the jump rope um, like training courses that come with this, so those paper pamphlets that you get. I really do, just don't care for those. I really wouldn't have minded though a nice little carrying bag for it. And that's about it for the Daigle jump rope overall. There really isn't too much to complain about, especially with it only being about $7. So overall, the really decent product, only very minor cons uh, to begin with. So I really do like this jump rope if you're looking for a nice cheap one to use at home. And the question I always ask myself is, would I buy this product again? I definitely would buy the Daigle jump rope again if I was looking for a nice cheap jump rope. I want one that maybe has a little more hefty quality to it. So, but if I really was running out of money and just needed a decent jump rope and 
one I thought would last me a good amount of time, I would definitely go out and buy this one again in a heartbeat without ever giving it a second thought. And that's it for my review on the Daigle Jump Rope. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos and reviews just like this one. Also, please head over to GamerBuy.com. There you can check out my tr current training plan, all the current equipment I'm using at home, resources I use to keep learning and getting better at fitness, and all of that fun stuff over at GamerBody. And that is it for this video. So again, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.